Hello and welcome to my channel. I am so excited you decided to tune in. Uh, on here, we talk about various different fragrances that are in my collection. I am a true fragrance fanatic. I love fragrances. I love layering fragrances. Uh, I'm so excited to come to you and let you know about all the new finds that I have found. So if that is something you are looking for on your YouTube travels, please subscribe. And my name is Claudia Nari, by the way, <laughs> if I haven't mentioned it before. And I would love for you to join our community. But to all of the people who come back each and every time to watch my video, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. This video is going to talk about raspberry fragrances. And I know it took me a while to decide to put this together because I wanted raspberry fragrances that you either can smell the raspberry or it's a great enhancer. So it took me a little while to kind of do some research and to kind of give a good uh, group to, to show to you all. If that is what you're interested in and you have been waiting for me to do this video, then please stay tuned. Right, so let's talk about the first one. The first one for me, it's a raspberry fragrance. However, the raspberry is secondary. So this is where I would say that raspberry is a supporting cast. And I'm talking about Vain and uh, Naive by Nashani. This is such an exquisite fragrance. It combines together this opulent, notes that are like rich in florals but yet has a delicate must to it it's very captivating right when you wear this fragrance you you're gonna like set the room off this is like my classy girl fragrance my classy fragrance it can be one worn by both men and women but on women it kind of makes you feel empowered right like like strong like i've just I feel like that girl, <laughs> honestly, when I wear this one. And the notes in it is, uh, like I said, it does have raspberry in it, but the top notes are going to be orange and bergamot. And then you do have the raspberry and the plum. Uh, I love the rose notes that is in it. There is jasmine, but it's not. Uh, for me, jasmine can't be that strong, right? The jasmine note could be in it, but it just can't be that strong, right? And then it has like this woody cedar to it. Um, I love the creamy sandalwood that's in it. I really enjoyed this one. And then like the dry down, it gets better and better with time. It's such a gorgeous amber fragrance. Like to me, it's amber and benzoin is what I get a lot on my, uh, uh, from my chemistry, but it does have raspberry, but that raspberry gives it like this freshness to it. And that is vain and naive. This is a good one to get. Oh, I have to talk about this one. I have to. One of the things I love most about this one here is how gorgeous the presentation is. Oh, this presentation is absolutely amazing to me. Uh, I am talking about Rose Amiad. Rose Amiad is such a luxuri luxurious fragrance. Like it's, um, it has this like this gorgeous, exquisite rose note to it and then it's blended with spices and then you get like a touch of honey in it uh this is another one of the ones where uh raspberry is just in that first burst right so like i said i'm going through the ones that i feel like raspberry is a touch note it's not a predominant note i mean i'm going to get into what's predominant but this one here the the raspberry in it is such a nice fresh burst when you first go into it um, it's another one of those classy girl fragrances. Like it's, 
the bottle is beautiful um everything about this fragrance is saying go get it right and even if you don't go get it i do believe that you probably need to get a sample of it right the notes are rose raspberry pink pepper brown sugar patchouli garak wood it's argyle oud amber and sandalwood uh just such a gorgeous gorgeous blend uh, this is one that I, I call this my black dress, my black dress fragrance. Like whenever I have on, I'm going out to like, say I've gotten invited to a holiday event. Like we're coming up on the times where we're going to start talking about holiday events. And so don't be surprised if you see me bring this up again, because <laughs> this is my black dress fragrance. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It was like, um... It's like velvety soft. It's you feel like you need to be in like a like a room. You need to have on a gown. At least all of these are thoughts that I would have for it. So Rose Amiat. If you want to try out any of the fragrances by Atar de Oz, then Rose Amiat. I say go get this one. All right. Now, remember, we are talking about where raspberry is in it as an enhancer. Then House of Oud, oh, I'm sorry, House of Siage. I love, I love both lines. But House of Siage uh, has Chavu d'Or. Chavu d'Or is one of their Odie but goodies in their line. This is really how I got so uh, into House of Siage. Like, I loved everything. This is another one where the packaging is just beautiful it's like a cupcake it's magnet top but we're not here talking about the presentation but presentation gets me every time Chavu d'Or is a fragrance where the fruits the florals and all of the elements that's in this fragrance they blend together beautifully like it's a beautiful elegance and endearing type fragrance um, when you wear this, you're going to get like this fruity opening. So you're going to be like, oh, well, this is going to be a fruity scent, right? So that's where the raspberry kind of comes in at. And then it, it, it switches into a whole nother scent. And it gives you this gorgeous scent trail. Oh, such a beautiful, beautiful scent trail. Now, mind you, it's a lot of rose. So let's keep that into perspective. Uh, but the opening is wild strawberry, raspberry, and magnolia. So you got like this fruity floralness coming in. And then it's just rose. It's two different types of rose. I say three, right? It's like a May rose, a Turkish rose, a Bulgarian rose. So it's rose. You do have to like rose. But for me, it's not the old lady rose, right? We always talk about this old lady rose. Like, what is that, right? It's that old lady rose that after a while, it kind of becomes real heavy in alcohol. Well, it's not that. It's not that for me. And then the base of it is the vanilla and the tonka bean. So it kind of gives you a little sweetness. But this is not a gourmand lover's fragrance. To me, this is a rose lover fragrance that wanted just a little fruitiness with it because that strawberry and that raspberry in it is going to keep it fruity yet on top of florals so Chavu de or by house of siage okay papora by tatiana terenzi this one here is such a wave of fragrances like it's it's several different like waves that you get Right, so with this one here, you have to be a person that's really into like a heavier, more smoky, more incense-based uh, scent, right? So the fruitiness in this is the black currant and the raspberry, but you really get a lot of amber and rose, right? The blend of it is a very good blend, uh, but this is a fruity opening only a fruity opening so it's like a burst again it's one of those bursts of fruitiness right so you're like oh this is nice and then it just transitions but for me this is for someone who likes like a more smokier heavier fragrance more spicier fragrance right because you're going to get rose and raspberry in in the opening but you also get clove and cinnamon 
right? So that's where all the spices comes in at. And then the heart of the fragrance, you're going to get like a little more rose, uh, but like this smoky incense. So, so to me, this is a nighttime scent. This is an evening scent. And then you're going to get patchouli. You're going to get some more floors from the uh, poppy note, right? And then it's like this warmness that comes in. So you get myrrh and musk and benzoin and chestnut. So that's why I said this is an evening scent. This is an evening. This is a cool weather scent. Um, though the raspberry is in it, it's, it's, it's not enough to say this would be my first go-to for raspberry. But it does have raspberry in it. So it does have this beautiful, like almost fruity, watery opening to it when it first opens up. So it's like a dewy rose. So that's what that raspberry does. It gives it like a dewy rose note. But then after that, it becomes this gorgeous, wonderful, cozy, cool weather scent. Um, I mostly get myrrh, amber, and uh, patchouli in it. Uh, I'm very thankful. Not a lot of the incense. I'm not really a smoky kind of fragrance. But you do get heavy, uh, like a heaviness. In my opinion, this is not for hot weather. <laughs> this is for cool weather. And that is Papora by Tatiana Terenzi. Okay, I know by now you're saying, come on, Claudia, Claudia, give me some that actually is raspberry, right? I understand that there are a few that raspberry is a note, but I want some that where I can smell the raspberry. Got you. Coming up. This one here is Birth of Venus by Oh Argos. I love, I love this one. I absolutely love this one. This is like a symphony of delicate fruity notes, raspberry, bergamot, uh, juiciness, right? This it is, to me, this is femininity in a bottle. It is like the perfect, beautiful, classy, sophisticated woman. Like I, I love this one. It kind of awakens that goddess, goddessness that's in you, right? That where you walk with your head up, you put your shoulders back, you know, you let your collarbone show in your outfit. Like you just feeling yourself. Birth of Venus. That is what this is. It's so pretty to me. Like the opening in it is, is peach and lavender, orange blossom, bergamot, and grapefruit. It's such a gorgeous fruity fragrance. And then it will move itself into raspberry rose. It, it says it has chocolate. But don't get nervous. It's not like a thick chocolate, like a chocolate greedy. No, it's not that. It's like this chocolate, dry chocolate, almost like the, the cocoa note, right? Uh, again, it does have jasmine in it, but luckily for me, it's not heavy on jasmine because I'm not really that big on jasmine of late. Amber, cashmere wood, and vetiver. This is a must buy fragrance. Like must, you have to go get this one. You have to. If you want to try a fragrance from their line, there are two. And this happens to be one of my two. Birth of Venus. Gorgeous. Okay, this one is called Hayeti by Attire. By Attire. Oh, this is another one of my loves. <laughs> this is another one of my love fragrances. It's an Arab, um, Arabian fragrance, right? So Hayeti, uh, Hayeti means life, right? So this fragrance is going to is supposed to give you life, right? But it's a it's a gorgeous summer scent to me. I mean, I'm gonna keep it as transparent. I reach for this when it's warm outside, uh, cause it just makes me feel fun. Like it just makes it feel like a beautiful day. It gives me this gorgeous, like, upliftment to it. Um, I love everything about it. It feels like you're just out at a, like a, like a beach party when I'm wearing it. Um, it is 
very playful, very uh, joy joyous. It also has like this garden note to it. Um, I so get why the perfumer made it. He was he made it in the idea or the remnants of this beautiful summer day where he was playing in a garden. And I get that. Like I can I can so see that. I can see I can see the uh bushes of black currant. I can see the raspberries being grown in this garden. I can also see like these luscious, beautiful flowers that are in. I can see that. I can feel that went in it. So once I read and did the research and realized that the perfumer made this off of a memory, it was, a, I had to have it. Like I had to have it. I feel like fragrances should talk to you. It's like the notes in it is raspberry, berry fruits, pineapple, whipped cream, honey, black currant, plum, there is some floral notes. It doesn't really go deep into it, but I think like some peony probably is in here. Uh, a very delicate rose is in here, Bulgarian rose maybe, uh, white flowers. And then it has this almost milky ice cream note that's in it and vanilla. The notes fit it, like the notes fit this fragrance. This is such a fun fragrance for me and when the summertime comes this is like one of the ones that i reach for that i say okay i have to have it like i've been doing these trays and uh i try not to pick my go-to's this is a go-to i try to wear some other fragrances that i have in my collection but i just couldn't wait anymore i just couldn't so of course i had to pull this one uh for me to wear because we're coming to the end of the summer and i love it Okay, what's a top 10 lineup that doesn't have Mancera in it? <laughs> At least that's what I think. You got to include a Mancera. Uh, this one here is Juicy Flowers. Juicy Flowers is, it just totally embodies es the essence of being fresh and feminine and just beautiful. It blends together like this uh, juicy fruits with these delicate flowers and then it creates like an aroma uh, that vibrates at high level. We always talk about being on a high level vibration. Juicy flowers. It gives you that I'm the pretty girl. I'm the pretty girl. I am confident but yet I'm soft enough to live in my feminine energy juicy flowers that is what i get and i know y'all thinking like claudia why do you always describe these fragrances like that because to me that's what i, I want y'all to know what i think like and, and that is what i think that's what i think of these fragrances when i wear it this is all the things that go through my mind where i walk with an extra step right so the notes in it is red fruits pink pepper pear and citrus notes right and then you get uh peachiness that comes in like this gorgeous peaches that comes in and then it's sandalwood and then on top of that you get like this white musk and what i like about white musk is that it just gives that sexy skin smell not um not like a heavy sun musty smell but like a sexy skin smell and then like someone just want to come give you a hug type smell and then it does have the raspberry in it and then vanilla and then there's almond grease so I don't know if it's the omegrease, because I really do like that note, uh, that makes me so in love with this fragrance, but it's just beautiful to me. Juicy flowers, and it's like that name fits it perfectly. It's this juiciness to it, and then it has like floralness, but it's soft flowers. It's not the heavy flowers, right? This is a soft sundress type scent. Like you need to have your skin out when you're wearing Juicy Flowers. So Juicy Flower by Mancera. I am so enjoying doing this video for y'all because I have come to realize that there are so many fragrances I absolutely love that are in my collection. This is Deviant. Deviant by Whisker. This is such a mysterious, intriguing fragrance. Like it combines darkness yet uh sexiness is a very unconventional 
scent. It's not one of, so, th so to me, this is, I would say that you should go get it, but I don't know if everyone would fall in love with it because you have to want to be mysterious. You have to want to have a, a unique scent. So if you are a person who likes to demand attention, Divian. If you're a person who likes to smell good, but not all eyes on you, then I don't think that this is your scent. Because it's such a gorgeous fragrance that is like layers. It's beautiful layers to this scent. It's gorgeous, gorgeous layers. Deviance is, is such a beautiful scent. Like the bottle is gorgeous. So I mean, that alone, like I always tell you, I am such a um, a presentation type person. So the presentation on it is absolutely great. But I'm trying to find the notes. Let me find the notes for you. Uh, so that way you have an idea of what the notes are in it. It is grapes. It's raspberry. It's ylang ylang. Uh, it has pink uh, grapefruit in it. It is uh, caramel, Denmark rose, black currant, and this orris root. But do not be fearful for orris root. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't, I don't really want to smell like lipstick. I don't want to smell like powder. But if this is what lipstick and powdery notes are supposed to smell like, then I do. <laughs> like, I would love to smell like this because it's just beautiful. It's really beautiful. And then the leather that's in it is not heavy leather. It's... Um, very creamy, like almost like a suede type leather. And then argyle wood and tobacco. So it is a very unique fragrance. It's very mysterious. It's very um, inviting. This is a command the room fragrance, deviant. Okay, this one here is candy rose. I would admit the clink clink of the bottle has become quite nerve wracking for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I love them. I love I love these. I love the Montel fragrances, but the packaging is starting to really bother me um, a lot, to be truthfully honest. But uh, the fragrance itself is so beautiful. Uh, hold on, let me get a good spray. You hear that? Let me put the bottle down. Well, you've seen the bottle, but I'm gonna put it down because I I, I just can't right. Uh, candy rose is, it's like sweet, it's fun. I would think candy rose will be a good one for someone who's trying to get into rose, but don't want to kind of leap into rose, right? Because the raspberry in it, the fruitiness in it, the candy like essence in a course, and it keeps it, keeps it grounded. Uh, that raspberry, any of the juicy berries and everything that's in this keeps it playful. It keeps it really playful. And then you have a slight rose undertone in it. But it's, if you have the rose, it's more like a sugared petaled rose uh, with some creamy vanilla. It's very whimsical. Yeah, this is a good start me out in rose fragrance. Gorgeous like a gorgeous fragrance. With candy rose, you're gonna get uh, leche. You're gonna get uh, raspberry, black currant, blood orange, and mandarin orange. So it's like a very citrus-based, watery raspberry fragrance. You do get some flowers, but like I said before, it's all the rose, the, the lily of the valley, are all like background scents. That's why I said this is a good, let me start off in rose and see where I how I feel about it. Fragrance, and again, it has that gorgeous white musk, like that clean, fresh skin, like that you know, an orange blossom. So none of the florals in this fragrance is overbearing. This is more of a fruity type floral. Like this is a this is what they will call a fruity floral, candy raspberry. It's real, it's real candy-like, fruity candy-like, candy rose. If you can get over the clink-clink <laughs> of the can, 
gray fragrance. All right, my last one in my collection. I made it last because it's a no-brainer. You cannot view a fruity summer set or any type of fruity base uh, top 10 list. And they don't mention Kirk. <laughs> if, if they don't mention Kirk, then they not really into fruity fragrance. That's my opinion. Don't fight me, right? Uh, it's it's a it's an obvious fruity fragrance. So I didn't want to make it first. I kind of want to get over all the ones that I think is first. Uh, but this one is a you know it fits perfectly. It's very rich. It's very decadent. It's gorgeous. Even though it has a blend of honey in it and floral notes to it, it's mostly fruits. Right? It's mostly fruit. And then the floral note they add into it is just to give it some body, right? So they do add a little jasmine, a little tuberose, but it's just to give you some body. This is a fruity fragrance. And I think it's on everyone's list because that's what this is. It's a gorgeous fruity fragrance. Passion fruit, peach, pear, raspberry. Um, then it kind of gives you lily of the valleys where that floral note does come in. And then the base of it is sandalwood, vanilla. And then they give you a little heliotrope, like they were trying to be a little powdery in it. But this is a fruity fragrance. It's a true fruity fragrance. Like if you're looking for something from Tatiana Terenzi and you just want a fruit, like a fruit base fragrance, then that's this one here. That is Kirk. Like you have to go get it. Between the passion fruit, the peach, and the raspberry, the wateriness of the fruits would be your pear and raspberry. The more thicker, heavierness of it would be your passion fruit and your peach. A fruity fragrance. A no-brainer fruity fragrance. Okay, I have went through my top 10 raspberry fragrances. Your turn. What is your raspberry fragrances? In the comments, make sure you list them. You chat back and forth. If you are new to this community, one of the things that we do is we ask that you comment below and share your thoughts. This is not all about me just telling you what my top 10 is. It's also about you telling everyone what is yours. What would you go get? What is a raspberry fragrance that you would get? Did I name your fragrance, right? Or uh, I might not have. I don't have every one of them. I know it looks like I have every fragrance known to man. I do not because my collection is strictly based off of what I like. So some of the things I have, you probably don't have. And there are some things you have that I don't have. I want to know about it. I'm going to be reading the comments to see what can I find, what I can get a sample of. I will, uh, I know that my next one, I'm going to give you a hint. It's going to be on mango fragrances. So I'm in the process of trying to get me some mango fragrances samples uh, on top of what I currently have. So that's a hint of a video that is coming. I truly enjoy doing this with you all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that way you do not miss any future fragrances or finds or fragrance thoughts that I come out with. But on that note, I thank you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video.